Dysfunctional Family, Wikipedia Audio A dysfunctional family is a family in which conflict, misbehavior, and often child neglect or abuse on the part of individual parents occur continuously and regularly, leading other members to accommodate such actions. Children sometimes grow up in such families with the understanding that such an arrangement is normal. Dysfunctional families are primarily a result of two adults, one typically overtly abusive and the other codependent, and may also be affected by addictions, such as substance abuse, or sometimes an untreated mental illness. Dysfunctional parents may emulate or overcorrect from their own dysfunctional parents. In some cases, the dominant parent will abuse or neglect his slash her children and the other parent will not object, misleading the child to assume blame. A common misperception of dysfunctional families is the mistaken belief that the parents are on the verge of separation and divorce. While this is true in a few cases, often the marriage bond is very strong as the parents' faults actually complement each other. In short, they have nowhere else to go. However, this does not necessarily mean the family's situation is stable. Any major stressor, such as relocation, unemployment slash underemployment, physical or mental illness, natural disaster, etc. can cause existing conflicts affecting the children to become much worse. Dysfunctional families pervade all strata of society regardless of social, financial, or intellectual status. Nevertheless, until recent decades the concept of a dysfunctional family was not taken seriously by professionals, especially among the middle and upper classes. Any intervention would have been seen as violating the sanctity of marriage and increasing the probability of divorce which was socially unacceptable at the time. Historically, children of dysfunctional families were expected to obey their parents, and cope with the situation alone. Perceptions in Historical Context Dysfunctional family members have common features and behavior patterns as a result of their experiences within the family structure. This tends to reinforce the dysfunctional behavior, either through enabling or perpetuation. The family unit can be affected by a variety of factors. Some features are common to most dysfunctional families. Lack of empathy, understanding, and sensitivity towards certain family members, while expressing extreme empathy or appeasement towards one or more members who have real or perceived special needs. In other words, one family member continuously receives far more than he or she deserves, while another is marginalized, denial, inadequate or missing boundaries for self, disrespect of others' boundaries, extremes in conflict unequal or unfair treatment of one or more family members due to their birth order, gender, age, family role, abilities, race, caste, etc. Though not universal among dysfunctional families, and by no means exclusive to them, the following features are typical of dysfunctional families. In many cases, the following would cause a family to be dysfunctional. The laundry list is a list of 14 traits of an adult child of an alcoholic by the 12-step organization titled, Adult Children of Alcoholics and Dysfunctional Families. List of unhealthy parenting signs which could lead to a family becoming dysfunctional. Abnormally high levels of jealousy or other controlling behaviors conflict influenced by marital status, between separated or divorced parents, usually related to, or arising from their breakup, conflict between parents who remain married, often for the perceived sake of the children, but whose separation or divorce would in fact remove a detrimental influence on those children, parents who wish to divorce, 
but cannot due to financial, societal, or legal reasons. One common dysfunctional parental behavior is a parent's manipulation of a child in order to achieve some outcome adverse to the other parent's rights or interests. Examples include verbal manipulation such as spreading gossip about the other parent, communicating with the parent through the child rather than doing so directly, trying to obtain information through the child, or causing the child to dislike the other parent, with insufficient or no concern for the damaging effects of the parent's behavior on the child. While many instances of such manipulation occur in shared custody situations that have resulted from separation or divorce, it can also take place in intact families, where it is known as triangulation. Coalitions are subsystems within families with more rigid boundaries and are thought to be a sign of family dysfunction. Families with older parents or immigrant parents who cannot cope with changing times or a different culture, a parent of the same sex never intercedes in father-daughter-slash-mother-son relations on behalf of the child, children who have no contact with the extended family of their mother or father due to disharmony, disagreement, prejudice, feuding, etc., in a family with one or more rebellious children at whom parents are chronically angry, non-rebellious children have to walk on eggshells to avoid spillover effects of the parents' anger, an intense rift, extending beyond mere disagreement of opinion to personal animosity between family members regarding ideology. Examples Unlike divorce, and to a lesser extent, separation, there is often no record of an intact family being dysfunctional. As a result, friends, relatives, and teachers of such children may be completely unaware of the situation. In addition, a child may be unfairly blamed for the family's dysfunction, and placed under even greater stress than those whose parents separate. Children growing up in a dysfunctional family have been known to adopt or be assigned one or more of the following six basic roles. Children of dysfunctional families, either at the time, or as they grow older, may also. Common features Near universal Unrealistic expectations, ridicule, conditional love, disrespect, especially contempt, emotional intolerance, social dysfunction or isolation, stifled speech, denial of an inner life, being under or overprotective, apathy I don't care, belittling you can't do anything right, shame shame on you, bitterness, hypocrisy do as I say, not as I do, lack of forgiveness for minor misdeeds or accidents, judgmental statements or demonization you are a liar, either little or excessive criticism, double. Standards or giving mixed messages by having a dual system of values, the absentee parent, unfulfilled projects, activities and promises affecting children will do it later, giving to one child what rightly belongs to another, gender prejudice, discussion and exposure to sexuality, either too much, too soon, or too little, too late, faulty discipline based more on emotions or family politics than on established rules, having an unpredictable emotional state due to substance abuse, personality, disorder, or stress. Parents always take their children's side when others report acts of misbehavior, or teachers report problems at school scapegoating, tunnel vision diagnosis of children's problems, older siblings given either no or excessive authority over younger siblings with respect to their age difference and level of maturity, frequent withholding of consent for culturally common, lawful and age-appropriate activities a child wants to take part in, the know-it-all, regularly forcing children to attend. Activities for which they are extremely over or under qualified, 
either being a miser in totality or selectively allowing children's needs to go unmet, disagreements about nature and nurture. Not universal. Specific examples. Laundry list. Parenting. Unhealthy signs. The isolated family member, parent versus parent, the polarized family, parents versus kids, the balkanized family, free for all. The golden child, a child who becomes a high achiever or overachiever outside the family as a means of escaping the dysfunctional family environment defining themselves independently of their role in the dysfunctional family, currying favor with parents, or shielding themselves from criticism by family members, the problem child, rebel, or bad egg, the child who a causes most problems related to the family's dysfunction or b acts out in response to pre-existing family dysfunction, in the Latter case often in an attempt to divert attention paid to another member who exhibits a pattern of similar misbehavior, a variant of the problem child role is the scapegoat, who is unjustifiably assigned the problem child role by others within the family or even wrongfully blamed by other family members for those members' own individual or collective dysfunction, often despite being the only emotionally stable member of the family lack the ability to be playful or childlike and may grow up too fast, conversely they may grow up too slowly, or be in a mixed mode, have moderate to severe mental health issues, including possible depression, anxiety and suicidal thoughts, become addicted to smoking, alcohol, or drugs, especially if parents or friends have done the same, bully or harass others or be an easy victim thereof, be in denial regarding the severity of the family's situation, have mixed feelings of love-hate towards certain family members, become a sex offender, possibly including pedophilia, have difficulty forming healthy relationships within their peer group, spend an inordinate amount of time alone watching television, playing video games, surfing the internet, listening to music, and other activities which lack in-person social interaction, feel angry, anxious, depressed, isolated from others, or unlovable, have a speech disorder, distrust others or even have paranoia, become a juvenile delinquent and turn to a life of crime, and possibly become a gang member as well struggle academically at school or academic performance declines unexpectedly, have low self-esteem or a poor self-image with difficulty expressing emotions, rebel against parental authority, or conversely, uphold their family's values in the face of peer pressure, or even try to take an impossible middle ground that pleases no one, think only of themselves to make up the difference of their childhoods have little self-discipline when parents are not around, such as compulsive spending, procrastinating too close to deadlines, etc., find an spouse or partner at a young age, or run away from home, become pregnant or a parent of illegitimate children, be at risk of becoming poor or homeless, even if the family is already wealthy or middle class live a reclusive lifestyle without any spouse, partner, children, or friends, have autodestructive or potentially self-damaging behaviors, join a cult to find the acceptance they never had at home, or at a minimum, have differing philosophical-slash-religious beliefs from what they were previously taught, strive to live far away from particular family members or the family as a whole, possibly spending much more time with extended family, perpetuate dysfunctional behaviors in other relationships. Dysfunctional Styles Children as Pawns List of other dysfunctional styles Dynamical Children 
the six basic roles. Effects on children In popular culture, 